Hey guys, Bigfoot here. Well, it's springtime. All the plants are going wild. And uh, some people's allergies are probably acting up. But it's a beautiful time of year. And uh, so we're going to have some springtime foraging videos coming up. I'm really excited about. Sorry to all my subscribers. I haven't had a whole lot of time to make videos as of late. Because I have been busy working my butt off. Trying to get caught up on some work from last year. But we're just about caught up. So anyways, let's get right to it. So I'm pulling up my driveway today after work. And I see one of the most easily identified uh, plants that there is probably. You probably have them in your yard. And you probably have already guessed what this plant is. It's a dandelion. So let me show you. For those of you that might not know what a dandelion looks like, I'll show you what it looks like. And we'll talk about the benefits and uh, some other plants that are growing right here next to it. So this is a dandelion and uh, the cool thing about dandelion is it's completely edible this top part before it turns into this flower even now is uh, really good fried up you can batter them uh, yeah they're they're really tasty uh, and then if you break this top off here the flower you can get some milky substance out of I don't know if you can see that kind of hard to see but there's a milky substance that comes out of the inside of the stem that's uh, great for joint pain and all kinds of other things okay we're gonna dive deep into here so here is a dandelion leaf right there that is a dandelion leaf 100% edible raw cooked like spinach really good great in a salad but Dandelion is a great uh, plant to have. The roots you can dry and grind into coffee as, or as a coffee replacement. And um, it's a really good plant to know. It's a good source of sodium. Uh, dandelion's great for the liver. It's, it's, like I said, it's a good diuretic. But yeah, that's a dandelion. And also while I was out here, I noticed a few other cool plants. Let me show you those. The next plant that's out here is going to be this right here some of you may know what this is this is a purple dead nettle and an easy way to identify this in the springtime is by the little purple flowers uh, I don't know if you can see that but right here there's a little purple flower me, um, me and my little sisters used to pull these out and see that white part right there we bite the white part off and eat it it's uh, pretty sweet but you can eat the entire top. Um, it's really good. You can make tincture out of it. And I'll, I'll uh, be posting a tincture video on soon. And I'll put a link to the video in the description of this video. So that way uh, you can know how to make a tincture with purple dead nettle. Now when, when uh, purple dead nettle is not flowering, uh, a good way to identify this plant is by its stem. It is square. The stem is square, not round. See, when I twisted in my fingers it stops on every side so that's a square um, so yeah that's purple dead nettle it's a, a great plant to know also it's a good medicinal um, plant okay there's another plant right here I want to show you these are all just right here in this little area which is awesome okay now this one I've talked about in a few other videos one of my favorite um, one of my favorite wild edibles is plantain right here. It's good to make spit poultice. It's uh, high in potassium. It's a, it's, you can use it like salad. You eat it raw if you want to. When they start getting bigger, they get a little bit bitter and tough, but they're still good, good for you. Um, yeah, so we've talked a lot about plantain in the past. Another plant that's grown right here. It's awesome, there's so many plants right here. Um, that is a nuisance nuisance plant for the most part in Oregon but this plant right here and uh, this is a blackberry leaf um, I've also talked a little bit about this but these are good to make tea with um, they actually kind of have a very mild blackberry flavor when you make tea with them um, there's another plant oh yeah check this plant out so these plants right here, some of you may know what they are and some of you might really dislike this plant. 
but you might not dislike it as much after uh, this video. This is a Canadian or Canada thistle, and uh, they grow about everywhere here. But they are really one of my favorite um, favorite foods, really out out in the wild. The root of thistle is amazing. They're one of they just taste really good. Bull thistle root is one of my favorites. Um, not just wild edible. I'll eat it in my kitchen at home. Um, they also have quite a bit of health benefits. This is what a Canada thistle leaf looks like. Um, it's not milk thistle. I have some people in Oregon that believe that they have all kinds of milk thistle, but it is not milk thistle, it is Canada thistle. Milk, milk thistle's got a lot of marbling on the leaf. So that's how you can tell the difference. That's a few plants that are growing in this small little area here. Just all over the place, the wild plants. All these, all this food that's out here, and we will do. We will be doing much more um, springtime foraging and wild edibles, survival foods. Um, we're gonna have a lot more of that coming up, uh, probably within the next two weeks to a month. I'll be, I'll be starting to um, pump out videos. So hit that subscription button, hit the notification button, so that way you can see when my videos come out and uh yeah share it with your friends if you have some plants you'd like help identifying uh just go ahead and leave a comment and i'll try to help out as much as i can if you have questions about any of these plants uh leave that in the comments and uh and i'll answer those the best i can i'm not a know-it-all i just have knowledge that i've gathered throughout the years that i'd love to share with everybody and um, i think it's important to have this knowledge and pass it on down because you might need it one day so Anyhow, this is Bigfoot's Outdoor Adventures, and this is Bigfoot, and I'll catch you guys soon. All right, later.